Hello one and all, Muster0063 back for part 10 of the Mega Man 3 project, the final part. And before we head off to the fortress stages and find out who's behind all the chaos, we have to deal with Breakman once more. But as with the fight uh, that we saw in Hardman stage, the similar strategy to having your board getting got, not that getting got is all that bad since it's a very easy fight, but if you stand right on the edge of each side of the raised platform and just shoot away, Breakman will never shoot directly at you. So, yeah, that fight's there, but as you just saw, it's absolutely nothing to pay too much attention to whatsoever. My goodness, as soon as I got the last energy from Mega Man, Wily, that Wily stole Gamma. Yep, Dr. Wily's behind it all yet again. I'm starting to think you might never learn your lesson. So, yep, the fortress is indeed a Wily fortress. But despite this, this being Wily's third attempt, I really don't know what he was playing at when he thought up this, thought up this fortress. It is the easiest fortress of any Mega Man classic game, probably any Mega Man game. That it's, it's just got to be. He, I don't know what he was thought that he just thought we could Mega Man a break after Mega Man Two. He thought, okay, I just created the most frustrating, pissing, annoying fortress in the world. And he thought, oh, I'll give Mega Man a bit of a break. So, free energy tank, why not? That'll be a common theme throughout this uh, fortress. There'll just be free goodies lying around all over the place. The levels themselves are short, easy, really nothing to worry about. So, yeah, God knows what Wiley was thinking, whether we just had an off in the middle of an off day or what. But, yeah, this fortress is an absolute joke, quite frankly. Um... A free extra life there if you're so inclined. I didn't bother breaking apart the um, uh, blocks there. A free energy tank if you also want one. You actually use um, a hard knuckle or to do so. So yeah, I didn't actually show it off. I didn't actually show it off in the entire game. So apologies for that. But yeah, if you want to break those walls, which you would have done with uh, Crash Bomb in Mega Man 2, then yeah, hard knuckle is the way to go in Mega Man 3. Um, some Hammer Joes here. Very non-threatening, particularly the ones that are not on the same level. Um, this one up here is particularly irritatingly placed if you're only going to use a Mega Buster, but hey, it's time to dig out Robot Master weapons and such like that. I'd need a uh, of Rush to get up on that ledge anyway, so Shadow Blade the Joe to death and use Rush Core to jump up. This screen is the only screen I've only in the entire fortress with reappearing and disappearing blocks. So yeah, if you hate that classic Mega Man staple, that's all there is in the fortress. We have that little tiny bit in Magnet Man stage, and that really is it. And we're at our first boss. Kanagoro Maker. I think I've pronounced that right. If I haven't, then bleh, who cares. The thing itself is, in, is uh, invincible, but it shoots out these uh, Kamagoro, which are effectively just turtles. And basically, you shoot the turtles, and, well, you, shoot five, you defeat five of them, and the uh, Kamagoro Maker itself will self-destruct. It's very, very non-threatening. Um, the turtles are pretty easy to take out, um, particularly with the Mega Buster. Um, I don't believe it actually has a, a weakness per se, but um, any Robot Master weapons that do do damage, um, they don't do any more than Mega, than Mega Buster, so why would we even bother? Now, I did get got to the thing once, which is irritating, and this whole Fortress run, unfortunately, is, is going to be dubbed what I've, what, or what I've dubbed the Get Hit Once to Every Single Boss Run. So, yeah, it won't hold true for absolutely every single one, but it's a fairly good summary. So, you could go left or right. This was this is stage two. You could go left or right at the very beginning. I went left just to show off that there is a free extra life there, if you so, if you so wish. Believe it or not, we're actually at the final screen. It's scrolling, but we're at the final screen already of this stage. Wow, thanks, another extra life. I really didn't need it, but whatever. Um, this is the kind of the uh, uh, gimmick from or staple from Hardman stage. So you've got these kind of uh, pincer grabbers, and you've also got the uh, giant bee. But as before, particularly with this one, you can just scroll the damn thing off the screen, and uh, it's really no problem whatsoever. A spike picked across, but we just hop on rush jet and just look at all the goodies we've got here: free weapon energy, free health, a free energy tank, another free energy tank, and three extra large weapon energy gets. Wow. Let's say, Wily, what were you thinking? This is our second boss. And as I slowly move over to the right before it scrolls on, 
we have Yellow Devil Mark II. And um, I honestly can't believe there are people out there who actually find this one easier than the Yellow Devil fight in Mega Man 1. Seriously, what are you thinking? Okay, yeah, the blocks move slower um, in, the, in, in this fight, so it's, I guess, a little perhaps easier to dodge the blocks, but... And they are in the same pattern every time, but the fight in Mega Man 1, the blocks came at exactly the same pattern every time, so once you know it, there's really nothing to worry about. This guy fires um, three uh, little pellet shots as well, so there's that little extra added uh, thing to worry about. Uh, granted, they're not too much. And this move! The hitbox on this is move is sodding ridiculous. I, there seem to be very slight differences on versions, etc. I don't know. Again, I don't know whether the NES GameCube Anniversary Collection that just is even more insane than, than the rest. But yeah, that's just almost bloody impossible to dodge. So, if you want to cheat, and I do here, just to demonstrate what's going on, I certainly wasn't in danger of losing the fight, so that's why I did it, just to demonstrate to you how, if you want to do this, no damage. Then I suspect I have, you know, a technique for doing it. So yeah, just rush jet over the damn guy. And pummel him away, pummel away it like that. But yeah, uh, I kind of well, the fight's kind of gone, and I didn't really talk about it too much. But yeah, he's weak to hard knuckle. Um, and uh, let that be, uh, let that be totally true for pretty much every single boss from now on. Yep, I'll point it out every single time, and we'll kind of demonstrate. But hard knuckle is pretty much the way to go on every single boss fight from that yeah, Yellow Devil Mark II onwards. Now, if there are any eagle-eyed viewers who noted that I might have slightly different uh, weapon energy um, uh, available and, available to me, and uh, also different numbers of lives and energy tanks, by the way, another free energy tank, that's like the fourth so far in the fortress. <sighs> um, but yeah, I actually did two playthroughs of, um, of this particular screen, well I did two playthroughs, not of the entire game, but the fortress stage, whatever, um, because I wanted to show off um, the boss a bit better. Uh, on, on, on this run than I would have done if I was going to use Robot Master weaknesses. So, yeah, I actually did um, two playthroughs of that. So if you, if you spotted that my energy was slightly um, uh, slightly lower or, hi or higher or whatever, then that's why. So this is the first run through of this stage where I'm going to take out the boss with the Mega Buster because if I took it out with its weakness, as you'll see in the second time round, I pretty much wouldn't have been able to talk about it at all or really even show you what on earth the boss does. So... I went off a little bit of a tangent there, but we're pretty much through stage three. We've got these little um, moving side-to-side -side, um, platforms, which I, I do like this section, actually, I must admit. But uh, yeah, it's all very, very easy, isn't it? Here's boss three. And like I said, yeah, I'm going to take it on with the Mega Buster. It's copy Mega Man again. Well, this time, there are three versions of Mega Man. So only one of them is hittable. The other two are fakes, and the bullets will go through uh, that version. So, yeah, you need to find the correct version of Mega Man and pummel away at that. Um, it's very, very difficult um, to actually, um, or certainly I find anyway, to avoid all the kind of attacks and pellet shots and actual uh, copy of Mega Man himself during the fight. So, this is always a kind of a bit of a hectic fight for me. Um, and it always gives me a nice little buzz when I do it. So, I was a bit lucky the final hit there was in the middle, but yeah, you kind of hopefully got the gist of what that fight was about. Alternatively, you could just do this. Yeah. <laughs> I think you'll agree that um, I pretty much wouldn't have had a chance to show off anything that, that boss does. But yeah, Cert Snake just absolutely creams him. Uh, Hard Knuckle, by the way, is also a weakness, just not quite as good as uh, Cert Snake. So we're already at the fourth stage of Wily Fortress, and this is the typical boss rush. Uh, uh, level. Um, there's actually a bit of a level to, um, or we actually have a little bit of level to get through, uh, unlike Mega Man 2, where stage uh, stage 5 just drops you straight in the middle of a boss rush, but this one we actually have to go through a bit of a level. And we're introduced to the Junk Golem. So it kind of uh, descends to the floor and just basically stands there, and uh, every now and then a junk block uh, will drop down and it will hurl it at you. Um, there are four in the stage, three are particularly easy, this one here is not. Don't dodge that is a pain in the neck, but the other ones basically get reasonably kind of up close to it and slide away when the block starts to head in your direction and you'll avoid it no problem. That in fact was the only uh, stage enemy in the entire fortress that actually hit me. This run anyway. Here we get dropped into our standard boss rush. So now I'm going to take out the Robot Master weapons and show you all the weaknesses. 
First up is Needleman, and he is weak to Gemini Laser. So, just kind of pummel away. Um, as I said before, I seem to get hit once on every single damn boss, so... Apart from the ones where I got, uh, where I was would have been absolutely devastated to have got hit, where I didn't get hit at all, thankfully. Yeah, it's pretty, this is pretty much the one hit on every boss uh, uh, run. Next up's Magnet Man, and he is weak to Spark Shock. So, take your time and just, you know, well, it does an enormous amount of damage to Magnet Man, so yeah, four hits and Magnet Man is done. Moving on, boss three is Gemini Man, and he is weak to Search Snake. So, briefly, let me just quickly say that there are two cycles to the Robot Master weaknesses in this one. Uh, Mega Man 1, they all went in one cycle. Mega Man 2 was just quite frankly all over the place, where Metal Blade is pretty much weak to about five of them. But on this, on Mega Man 3, we're back to one, one weapon per Robot Master, but there are in fact two different cycles, which is quite interesting. Um, I'll go through them again. I'll go what again? I'll go through them fully in a minute. But a uh, fourth up is Hardman, and he's weak to Magnet Missile. And God damn the controls! Why every time on Hardman? There's my one hit on Hardman, by the way. Yep, I got hit once on Gemini Man. In case you didn't watch that either, but yeah, that happened. Fifth is Top Man, and he is weak to Hard Knuckle, and uh, very weak. As weak as Magnet was to Spark, so four four fists to the face will do the Top Man. He has a very simple pattern, and yeah, quite frankly, if I got, got to Top Man and didn't pull the control out of the socket, then I don't quite frankly know what I'd do. Sixth is Shadow Man, and he is weak to Top Spin. Now, I get got more than once here, but uh, give me a break, I'm using Top Spin. Ordinarily, I probably wouldn't. But, as you can see, it actually does a reasonably nice job of taking out Shadow Man very quickly. Seventh, we have Spark Man, and he is weak to Shadow Blade. Um, slight problem, I suppose, to this is you need would need to get reasonably close to Spark Man, because obviously the Shadow Blade boomerangs, and it doesn't have a great deal of range. Ex excellent final hit coming up here, by the way. Totally planned. <laughs> Lastly, we have Snake Man, and he is weak to Needle Cannon. So, let me go through the two cycles. So, one is Gemini, Needle, Snake, and the other one is Magnet, Hard, Top, Shadow, Spark. So, yeah, those are your two cycles. Slightly odd. I believe from, uh, from from this point on, every every Mega Man game they revert back to you know the usual cycle, a bit like Mega Man One, where one uh, weapon will be used on another Robot Master. Um, I don't know why I'm really bothering to uh, fill up all my weapon energy here. It's just look I mean, look at the number of lives and um, energy tanks I've got. It's it, it, this is a ridiculously easy fortress. I'm sorry, it's just insanely easy. More weapon energy, if you so wish, but I really can't be bothered this time around. That was a level, by the way. <laughs> so this is um, Wily, uh, the Wily kind of machine, I suppose, or part one of the Wily machine. It has two weaknesses. Hard Knuckle, would you believe? But the other one is Spark Shock. Both of them, four hits to the spring at the bottom there, will take it out rather nicely. Again, Spark Shock. Why all the why all the bad um, vibes towards Spark Shock? It's a good weapon, damn it! The second phase, he is weak to Hard Knuckle. It's a little bit of a uh, tricky time um, timing the jump, etc., to hit, get up and hit him because Wily only dips down at certain times. But yeah, if you're going to get the timing, it's not too bad. And that really is the Wily machine done. Four hits with Hard Knuckle for the second phase, and he's done. Mega Man Moonwalk. That was a big drop, Dr. Wily. How did you survive that? Hmm. Oh. Maybe because you're not the real Dr. Wily. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, the fortress throws a six stage at you, but... <sighs> Just look at the beginning of this, seriously. An energy tank, an extra life, weapon energy, and health. And by the way, how the hell would you ever need the health? It's physically impossible to have got hit in that screen. Ugh. Anyway, this is the final boss. It's Gamma. He has two weaknesses. Hard Knuckle, would you believe, for the first phase, and also Shadow Blade. Um, but since Shadow Blade involves getting up on the little ledge, I'd pretty much just advise standing under him and Shadow Blading him. Why not? 
Second phase, two weaknesses. Hard Knuckle, not one of them this time. Search Snake and the other, and Worm, which would be a good way of doing this boss without getting hit, but I'm. this is the way I've always done it. Top spin into the face. Wily's done, Gamma's done, that is our final boss. Wow. Seriously, that's just, yeah, I'm not even going to comment about how easy that was. Believe me, it just was so easy, it's untrue. Blocks come down from the ceiling, crushing Wily and Mega Man, and that looks like Breakman. Hmm, what's going on? Mega Man, you've regained consciousness. I found you lying here when I arrived. I wonder who brought you here. This whistle. It must have been Proto Man. Yes. Break Man is actually Proto Man. Mega Man's brother, a prototype of Mega Man. And Mega Man's ally. And completely not the case in the cartoon series where Proto Man is actually working alongside Dr. Wily. So I have about three minutes before the credits start uh, to finish. So uh, the first part is. Um, well, you get to see, slightly unusually, all the Robot Masters from Mega Man 1, showing off um, what, their, what, what their jobs were when they were working for Dr. Light. So um, that's slightly interesting. Um, but as they, go, as they go by, and indeed all the Robot Masters from Mega Man 3 and credits start roll by, I take this opportunity, I shall take this opportunity to um, talk about Mega Man 3 as a whole. So it was my third game, uh, or third game in the Mega Man series that I played. Mega Man 2 was my first, Mega Man 4 was the second, and this was the third. Um, and since I've only actually played 1 and 2 so far, I'll just talk about it in comparison to that. So, well, I've already said, I've already kind of said that Mega, Man, Mega Man's 1 and 2 will be fairly low down on my favourite list. Not that I don't like either game, but yeah, they're fairly down on my, uh, low down on my list. Mega Man 3 is pretty near the top. There are still three games that I would put above it, so it's not quite right at the top, but it's fourth on my list. Um, and particularly in comparison to Mega Man 2, because there seems to be this whole big thing about you know, Mega Man 2, Mega Man 3, which is better. These, this was the heyday of the NES Mega Man series. And for my money, Mega Man 3 is just so much better than Mega Man 2. Mega Man 2, yeah, it's still a great game, but the fortress stages in that just, just are irritating, I'm sorry. And, um, you know, a quick man level as well, just kind of throw into it, just irritates me as well. Or it does everybody, I'm sure, on a first playthrough. But Mega Man 3, I really, really enjoyed this game. I love the Robot Masters, I love the kind of the mix of it all, etc. Um, it's got some of my, uh, got a couple of my favourite um, uh, stage music themes. Uh, Top Man in particular, I just absolutely love. Um, I love the, the, you know, the, the extra kind of little content with the dot robots. That's, that's, you know, that's kind of um, fangasmish kind of thing, you know, to see all the Robot Masters back from Mega Man 2 and all that was done kind of, you know, really nicely. So I really enjoyed that. Um, yeah, the fortress was easy, but you know, you know what? It was fun. It was infinitely, infinitely more fun than Mega Man 2, at least when it got to, to the fortress stage. So yeah, I'd take Mega Man 3 over Mega Man 2, particularly just from the fortress stage. So yeah, I think it had a very nice balance. I mean, you know, little extra things like slide and obviously rush was introduced at this point in time. So yeah, okay, the game's easy. Uh, certainly easier than Mega Man 2. The dock robot stages are where the, di where the difficulty, if it any, um, comes in through the game, but yeah, I yeah, Mega Man 3 is right up there on, on the near to the top of my list. Again, before concluding this video, let's look at the Mega Man 3 Perfect Run scoreboard. And isn't it nice to see a fully completed scoreboard without any pesky tens up there? I gave Magnet and Top ones, Snake a two, Spark a four, Gemini and Hard fives. Needle a 7, and Shadow earning the highest rank of 9. This equates to a total score for Mega Man 3 of 34. For comparison purposes, Mega Man 1 as a whole got a score of 29, and Mega Man 2 as a whole got a score of 42. So Mega Man 3 is somewhere in the middle. Which makes sense, as Mega Man 1 didn't have any of the more really tricky Robot Masters like Needle and Shadow, but Mega Man 2 had the even more annoying set of Wood, Air and Quick. With a fully complete scoreboard, no disappointment felt this time in moving on to the next game, which was Wily Tower, the bonus game on the Wily Wars you unlock after beating Mega Man's 1-3. But that's not going to be the next project. My 100th video was the announcement that I'm going to be doing a Let's Play of I Wanna Kill the Camellia 2. During that video, I said that I would likely intertwine Camellia 2 and Mega Man videos because the Camellia 2 project was going to take some considerable time. 
But in actuality, with a game that difficult, because you start cutting out lots of footage so as not to bore the viewer, it might not turn out to be, at least in terms of number of videos, all that much longer than some of the other projects I've done. The videos themselves are likely to be a lot lengthier, but hopefully I've managed to keep a nice balance between success and failure. Because after all, you want to see some failure and frustration, don't you? I managed to get away without having to cut anything into a fairly decent way through the game as well. So we'll see. Wily Tower might come somewhere in the middle of Camellia 2, or depending on how much or little footage I have, I might just wait until I'm done with Camellia 2. That's about it. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of Mega Man 3. Despite it probably being the game with the most irritating controls, it definitely remains one of my personal favourites in the series. Next up will be I Wanna Kill the Camellia 2, which is going to drive slash has driven me insane. If you want to watch me slowly begin to lose my mind, be sure to tune in. Many thanks for watching. Cheerio.